gonna be making up a fish pie today, or it could be known as a fisherman's pie. Now this fish pie, what we're gonna do is use a selection of fish. I've got a bit of cod and salmon, and we're gonna use some prawns. Make up this white bechamel sauce, a little bit of parsley flavored, and then we're gonna pour it all over the fish, add some spinach that we just kind of blanch, and then we're gonna put this really nice cheesy mashed potato all over the top, bake it up in the oven, and when it comes out, it's absolutely scrummy. Now, first of all, I just wanna go through the ingredients we're gonna use for making this fish pie. Now, the first ingredient I wanna talk about is a sort of seafood selection. Now, I'm gonna be using some salmon. I've got some salmon and cod, and we've got some prawns. But, you know, if you wanna use sort of different fish, you could use maybe sort of haddock or pollock, or maybe even some smoked fish, give it a nice sort of smoky flavor. It's entirely up to you what you put in your fish pie. The main thing to remember though, is that you don't have any bones in your fish and take the skin off as well. So I've got all my fish there, 900 grams. Now the other ingredients I wanna talk about, are the ones we're gonna be using to make up this white bechamel sauce. Now, first of all, I've got some plain flour. I've got 30 grams of plain flour. Then I've got 90 grams of butter. Now, I've got some parsley. With this parsley, what you wanna do is take all the leaves off and chop it down, pair of scissors or a knife, nice and fine. Then I've got some single cream. We're gonna use about 150 ml of single cream, so roughly about half that pot. Then I've got some sort of semi-skim milk and that's one UK pint, which is about 570 ml. Little bit of white pepper and a little bit of salt. So there's your bechamel sauce, nice parsley flavor, and we pour that all over the fish. Now once we've got the fish there and we've got the white bechamel sauce, the other thing I've got is some spinach. Now I'm gonna use about half that bag, so good big handful. That's about 100 grams of spinach. And what we're gonna do is just put those into boiling hot water for about a minute, just until they kind of, you know, sort of wilt almost, you know, just blanch them. And then I'm gonna take them out and drain them. Then I've got some eggs. Now I'm gonna use four eggs, gonna boil them up, because they're really nice in the fish pie. You put those mixed with the sauce, absolutely delicious. Finally, we've got some potato. Now with the potato, I'm gonna make up a really nice mashed potato, obviously season it at the end, put a little bit of maybe sort of single cream, just to sort of cream it up a little bit, add a bit of nutmeg, and then I'm gonna use a nice cheese, so you get a really nice cheesy flavor going into that potato. Now this cheese I'm using, it is quite expensive, but it is really quite nice, but you don't have to use that. If you wanna use cheese, but something you might already have, you know, you could use maybe cheddar cheese. Now this cheese is called Guier. Gives a lovely flavor. And then finally, once we've got it all sort of ready to go in the oven, what I've got is some breadcrumbs and I've got some Parmesan cheese. Gonna grate the Parmesan, mix it with these breadcrumbs, sprinkle it on top. Oh, it's just delicious. So now I've run you through the ingredients. What I'm gonna do is get everything prepared, you know, kind of peel the potatoes and if you need to wash the spinach and your fish, do all that sort of stuff and get the pans out and we're just gonna get on with the cooking. So I've got it all prepared, I've got all my pots and pans. Now in here we've got the potatoes. I've got some cold water, I'm gonna switch the gas on and just bring it out to the boil. Once it comes to the boil, I'd say about 12, 15 minutes at the most, until you can stick a knife in and they fall off. That's when your potatoes are done. Now also I've got some eggs there. Now again, bring those up to the boil, I'd say roughly about 10 minutes and they're all done as well. Now in this pan here, we're gonna do the bechamel sauce, you know, obviously that bit of butter and parsley and absolutely yummy. Here, we're gonna make up the sort of boiling water which is just gonna blanch the actual spinach. So switch it all on and let's get on with the sauce. Now first of all, I'm just gonna put the heat on for this pan and I've got me butter there. So good splodge of butter, put that in. I'm just gonna turn that down to a very low heat. You see, it's just slowly melting. I don't wanna sort of burn the butter. Now, I've got all this sort of, you know, chopped up parsley, fresh parsley. Gives it a lovely flavor. So put all that in and just give it a stir around and get all that butter mixed. Just gonna try and get all those bits of parsley all mixed up with that lovely butter. Now, you wanna do this on a very low heat because 
you know the lowest one you've got really you just want to kind of get those flavors out of the parsley and then you know in about eight minutes we'll actually add the flour now in total we've been cooking the actual sort of sauce here if you like the butter and the actual parsley for about seven minutes so we're at the stage where we're just going to add the actual sort of flour so what I'm going to do is just turn the heat up a little bit and then I'm going to start adding the flour so I've got my flour there so we'll literally just pour that in give that a stir up the main thing about making this sort of bitumel sauce with the parsley is not to let it burn don't let it burn you know keep the heat down if you need to and just stir it and just try and you know really take the rawness out of the flour that's what we're trying to do here so keep stirring look at that all that colors coming out of the parsley smelling really nice now what we're going to do is to start adding the milk now i've got cold milk i'm just going to open it up and we're going to pour in a little bit at a time so that it gets nicely blended so just add a little bit give it a stir and then you can just add a little bit more just build it up and as you add the milk you can add more each time and again once you've got a little bit in there if you want you can turn the heat up a little bit just keep stirring as you do it and eventually we're going to get all of the pint of milk in there so a whole pint pour that in to be honest with you say mucking about now I've got the parsley sauce and it's just about starting to bubble so it's nearly come up to the boil now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch that off and then we're going to season it and also add in some cream as well so that's the sort of creamy mixture that's going to go over the top of the fish now also I've got my potatoes there and I've got the eggs so I'm going to switch those both off and we're just going to test the potatoes, stick a knife in, see if they fall off. If they fall off, they're perfect for mashed potato. I think the eggs have been cooking long enough. So what I'll do with those, just cool them down under a little bit of cold water. And then we'll sort of peel the sort of shell off and sort of clean them up and get those ready as well. Now with the sauce, I'm just going to turn that off, give it a stir around. And I just want to try this. It's probably going to be a little bit bland because it needs a bit of seasoning. Mm, exactly that a little bit creamy got the parsley flavor but it needs a bit of salt and pepper and before I put the salt and pepper in I'm just going to put some uh, single cream there now I'm using roughly about half a pot I'm just going to save a little bit not very much but a little bit for the mashed potato then I'm also going to put some salt because you definitely need to season things like your sort of you know bitumel sauce and I'm going to add some white pepper normally I use black pepper but when you've got white sauce sometimes it's really nice to have sort of white pepper so just give that a stir around if you want you can put it gently back on the heat again simmer it up get all those flavors there and then just switch it off and leave it really just going to taste that A little bit more salt that's it perfect so I've got my sauce there all ready to go over the fish I'm gonna just let that cool down really now I've got my potatoes here so let's have a look at those stick your knife in they're just about falling off the knife so they're just about done I might leave them for a couple more minutes just to soften up a little bit more Obviously I've got the eggs, I'm going to take those away and just put some cold water and sort of shell them and get them ready. Then with the water from the actual potatoes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it into this pot, just switch this on because what I want to do is just blanch the actual spinach. So I'm just going to take the lid off that one, grab that big pan there and I'm just going to pour all that water in there. And bring this up to a boil. So I've got my water it's just about coming up to a boil, so I've got my pack of spinach there. And I say I'm going to use a big handful of that. Now this one's already kind of slightly washed, so 
you can just use it straight out of the pot there. Look at that. Just leave that for about a minute, put a lid on, give it a stir, and then just drain it all off. Right, I've got the spinach, it's just come to a boil, and that's enough. So swish that off, put it in a sieve, and just try and drain it off. Get as much water out of the sort of spinach as you can. Now we're going to get on with the, uh, the mashed potato that is going to go on top of this fish pie. So first of all, just squash this all down with full. Now I'm actually going to do mine by hand, but you know, if you've got one of these sort of mashers, you can use that. First of all, do that. And then what we're going to do is put a good splodge of butter in there. We we'll obviously do all these sort of things to taste, but I'm just going to put a bit of butter in there. And also, I'm just going to add a little bit of cream in there as well. And then I'm just going to put a bit of salt. Make sure you give it a good bit of seasoning. And then we're going to use white pepper. And I've got some nutmeg like one of these sort of whole nutmegs. It's much nicer when you grind it yourself. It's got that nice flavour. Look at that. Let's say I'm going to do mine by hand. So I'm just going to mix it up with a fork. Mainly because I can't find the uh, masher. So just mix this all up really nicely. Now what you can do, if you want to add a little bit more cream, or instead of cream, you could add milk, you can do that. Just gonna add a little bit more. Really make it nice and creamy with this mash. Yeah, look at that. You can smell that beautiful nutmeg as well. So I've got my mash and we kind of mashed it all up. Let's just try a little bit of that. Make sure it tastes good. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Now it needs a lovely little bit of cheese. So I'm just going to put some of this Gier cheese in it. Look at that. Lovely bit there. You just put that in. It's going to give a lovely flavour to this mashed potato. Put plenty in because really we do want to kind of get a nice creamy mashed potato with a lovely cheesy flavour. So probably a little bit more than you think. Look at that, I've used it all. Let's just mix it up, give it a quick stir, and just leave that aside, take it off the heat. Now I've got all the ingredients laid out that we've kind of made up. Now what we're gonna do is start assembling this really nice fish pie. Now first of all, I've got all my fishy stuff there, and I've got some lemon. So what we're gonna do is just give it a really good squeeze. Look at that, bit of lemon, move it out of the way. Whoop, gonna take all the fishy stuff away. Then we've got some butter, because what I wanna do is just make sure that there's butter all around the pan. Look at that. Just put it all around, because we don't want it all to sort of stick. Now the first thing to go in is gonna be the fish. Now really, you can kind of just chop that up into little bits, really. Leave that like that. And I'll just carry on doing that with all of them, really. So. Chunky little bits that you could kind of serve up. Don't make it too small. And then of course we've got all those prawns. Got the prawns, I might just put that juice in there as well. I've got me uh, hard boiled eggs. Now I actually end up using five. Then I'm gonna pour on all this kind of white parsley sort of bitumel sauce. Look at that, filling up the pan really nicely. Then what we can do, it's just lay on some of this spinach. Then to top it up, we've got this mash. Now, with your mashed potato, obviously you want to make sure that it's not too runny, because it's got to sit on top of all this sort of lovely sauce, and you don't want it sort of just disappearing. So, just keep doing that until you get it all nicely spread out. Kind of spread this a little bit to the edges. Don't worry if a little bit spills out. Just try and get it nicely to the edges, all the way around. So I'll just carry on doing that. I'm making a little bit of a mess, but 
not the end of the world. Let's get a cloth. There you go. I think we've sort of got the potato nicely around the edge. So let's put some of those parmesan and uh, breadcrumbs on top. Before I do that, I'm just going to give it a quick wipe up around here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to sprinkle over some breadcrumbs. Look at that. Looks good. They're going to go really nice and golden brown. And I've just got a little bit of parmesan, just to give it that extra little bit of flavour. Nice cheesy mix on top of this. Look at that, beautiful. So that is now ready to go in the oven. So I've got my fish pie all ready to go and it looks really delicious. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put it on a baking tray and I'm going to put it into a preheated oven, temperature wise 200 degrees Celsius, 400 Fahrenheit, gas mark 6. Now what I'd say is roughly about 40, 45 minutes until all the top has gone a beautiful golden brown and then you can serve it up and it will be delicious. So we've had the fish pie in the oven for about 45 minutes. Let's put it out, have a look at that. Look, that looks absolutely amazing, beautiful. Look at that topping, nice. Look, you can hear it, nice and sort of crispy. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take it out and leave it for at least 10 minutes before I serve it up. And it's just gonna be so delicious and I can't wait. So I've got my fish pie there and I left it for about 10 minutes to sort of just settle down a little bit. Now look, really nice and crispy, beautiful, lovely topping, and all the flavours, you know, inside of there are just beautiful. I can't wait to tuck in, so I'm going to move it out of the way and serve some up. All right, I'm just going to dig in here. Oh, looks good, looks really good. I'm just going to pull this out, try and get a big scoop. Look at that. That is just nice. Now I'm going to move this pan to show you, but you've got all the sauce there, the bits of fish and the prawns, and obviously you've got this lovely creamy mashed potato there, which has gone sort of crusty on top. So let's just move it out of the way, get this in focus and uh, have a look. And you can just really kind of see what's in there, look, you've got the bit of egg there, beautiful. This nice creamy sauce. And you've got a nice sort of firm topping really on top. This is a really nice creamy fish pie. Beautiful. Fisherman's pie. Something on a cold night would be absolutely delicious. So what I'm going to do is bring back me sort of plate of food because I'm absolutely starving and we're going to try some. So I've just served mine up on a plate and I'm just going to put some peas there. Peas goes really nice with it actually. I'm going to just take all of those. And then we're just going to try a little bit. Let's just get a little bit of that sauce. A few peas there. And try some of that. Looks nice. Lovely. You get a bit of taste of a little bit of nutmeg. You get the fishy flavour, the cheesy flavour. Really nice, even the prawns, you know. And I'm going to try a little bit of spinach. I can get it on there. Look at that. Uh, let's try that. Really nice. And the sauce is nice and creamy, but not too creamy. It's a really nice combination. All works together. Absolutely beautiful. And obviously, with the cheeses and that, you don't have to sort of use all the cheese that I've used. Just use your own cheese, or don't bother using cheese at all. But That's so nice. Absolutely yummy. Until next time, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy.